All right, so today I'm doing a max towing capacity for the 4Runner test. Uh, let, let's just check it out. So, just got this from my boy, Happy Campers. Uh, the trailer weighs about 40, 4,500 pounds. The max towing capacity on the 4Runner is supposed to be 5,000 plus payload. So, I'm with me and two other people so it's three three passengers total plus the trailer we're pretty maxed out of the capacity but it doesn't look it's sagging a little bit but it doesn't look like it's sagging as much as i thought it would um it's got the two and five sixteenth ball no steering stabilizers no oil coolers no no anything so let's see how how we get home All right, so we are currently towing the 4,500 pound travel trailer. And so let's see what type of gas mileage we're getting. So as you can see, we're towing it. Swaying is a real thing. Every time an 18 wheeler passes, I feel the wind swaying it. So right now, we're getting 10.6. I have it in four because I put it in drive and it just shifts down to four anyway, so I'm just holding it out in fourth gear. Some people merging onto the highway. So we gotta be careful with that. Alright, so let's reset. Ten and a half. So ten and a half miles per gallon. We got a long way to go. So far, so good, though. All right, so we're gonna do a zero to sixty test now with a trailer. Setting the mileage now. Now we're going 65. So there's a continuation of the video. Um, we got here. I'll show you guys the trailer now. I'm actually in it right now. Um, so the ride back, it wasn't too bad. There was a lot of swaying every time the trucks would pass. It would sway in. Uh, it would like suck you in. And then when the truck would pass, it would kind of like spit you back out. So it was a little sketchy at first. I kind of got used to driving it like that. Um, I would definitely, you know, recommend like the other people uh, you see on YouTube that have airbags, weight distribution hitches, um, you know, sway controllers, all type of, you know, accessories to help with the towing. I would definitely recommend it. But in the event you don't have any of that, you could still tow it uh, confidently, I guess. Uh, it was a little sketchy at first, but I, I, after I felt comfortable with it. Um, but yeah, here it is. Check it out. So this is the inside. It's got a double sink, which is really nice. Gas, uh, three burner, three burner stove. It also has an oven, which is also a nice touch. Got a little table here. It's got the radio right there. Little couch, refrigerator, some nice storage up here. All over here, up there as well. And you have the bathroom. Here's a 
decent size. It has some counter space here, which is nice. Some of them are just a vanity and doesn't have any countertop space. It's got the shower. And then it's got the bedroom here. Um, this is good to like put uh, some clothes, maybe shoes or something, whatever, any stuff you're packing. Also, too, it's got this mood lighting, which is pretty cool. So, you know, if you turn off the lights, it's a nice little, nice little mood lighting here. So, yeah, this is it. I got home safely.